the weight off of them. Maybe work for that. And Okay, we gotta take the bolt out of this shock so we can lower that down. I'm not gonna take it out yet till I get the uh, the uh, swing arm loose in the front here. Let's go ahead and loosen this boot up here and see what uh, we got behind there. I got it all loose. Boy, that's close. We have to wait till we get it loosened up. That it looks like that. I just wanted to show you if you're sitting on the machine, this one had a lock nut on the left side, and then it just and just bolts right in on the uh, right side. So that's for that swing arm. Okay, I'm gonna see if that swing arm will pull back some. It's gonna be a lot easier than I thought. To be a little more graceful, but guess not. Out's out, no matter how you say it. Here's the dry shaft that just uh, slid right off the spine, off the back of the. Uh, Well, you can see the spine's off now, so I can take this cover off, and uh, now that that's off of there, and so dropping that swing arm wasn't as bad as I thought. So, anyhow, we'll get this cover pulled, this linkage off, and then we'll get this pulled, and we'll be able to get the uh, the gears out of there and see what the issue is why this transmission's locked up. There's a view what it looks like from the back. That was just that uh, spine there that uh, by that universal joint. Okay, we'll remove this uh, bolt here to get this linkage off. This is a uh, 10 millimeter. Just an FYI that you just stick like a, a screwdriver through here and into that one. And, and right there is where neutral, the neutral light should be on. So just an FYI. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, loosen this up. It looks like it's been leaking, so I'm sure the seal's going to need, while we're going this far, we need to uh, change them. Okay, got them bolts out. I don't know how hard that would be to remove. Let's see. I should have known it wouldn't just slip right out.
Let's go ahead and pull this cover here. Uh. Yeah, that was, ooh, not good. Not good at all. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? See that there? The nut's gone. Hang on a minute. Let's see, let me show you. This nut off the end of there, that's it jammed right there. It's wound up in the gears. <laughs> Not good. It's probably a dumb thing, but I wonder if it damaged the gears. What the world? I wondered why that pushed I wonder why that pushed back right here when I took the screws out. That's not good. Looks like gears. If I take all the bolts out of this case, that might relieve some of the pressure. Let's see what that does. I'm going to try to slide the center shaft back some and get it out of that gear. There. I don't know what damage that would do doing it that way, but there that is. So the shaft's out of it. So there's the shaft. It looks okay. Hmm. Well, I've made it worse now. Let's go ahead and get that washer out of there. If I get the speedometer thing out of there, I might be able to get the uh, a wrench on that nut and back that up a little bit. There's the nut that held the, ooh, it's not all there. Let me hold it back up where you can see it. There's the nut. Boy, let's heat that case up. I think all these fragments are the nut. I don't know that it's the gear. We'll get them out and look at them, but. I would take this speedometer out of here. Take this out of here. That should lift up out of the way. There we go. That's out of there. Is on there. There's a long bolt in this corner and a long bolt in this corner and all the rest are the same size. Put it back in the bottom. Looks like it's going to come right off of there. Hope it don't all fall in a million pieces. Oh lordy. Damn, the bearings are falling. Well, with hindsight here, I should have taken this out here, and that would have got, I could have got, took the pressure off that spring and ball bearing, but it's here and there now.
Got it all pulled out. I'm going to tear it all down, inspect each gear and everything, and uh, see what we need to order for gasket seals and any other parts. Um, and as I do that, as I do the inspection, I'll, I'll video that too. But uh, I'm going to stop for today. We've got it this far. We know what it is. I thought it was a Shipton fork. Thought it was in two gears at the same time. Guess what? Neither one was right. So, just never know. All right, well, you've seen it right there with me. I would have never guessed it, but anyhow, we've started it. We're going to follow it all the way through, so you'll get to see it from start to finish. So keep watching. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Take care.